previously on Multiplex 10. My favorite movie of all time is the original 1968 Night of the Living Dead by the empresario of horror himself, George A. Romero. May he rest in peace. Never seen it. But if it's anything like the tidal wave of unmitigated shit that diuretically spewed out from the gaping butthole of the film industry in its wake, I can't possibly be missing out. My name is Kurt. Once I was a celluloid at the Silver Palace. A movie theater usher, as they called them, in the long ago. But the big shows are forbidden now. scavengers in the new world, alone in our caves, only venturing out among the daywalkers for food. The days pass in a predictable loop. Eat, sleep, and watch my picture stories on the tiny stream. Decontaminate. Eat, sleep. Watch my picture stories on the tiny stream. Watch my picture stories. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Watch my picture stories on the tiny stream. The days blur so much sometimes that I visit the Silver Palace to remember the before times. Today, the big show shine again. Science man told us we had to walk. Kurt? What are you doing here? I could ask you. <clears throat> I could ask you the same question. I'm just so sick of being at home. I thought I'd hook my phone up to one of the projectors and watch a movie. Hey, me too. Life's been weird since quarantine started. Yeah, why did everyone sign up for Disney Plus? Other than Star Wars and Marvel, it doesn't have anything. You're not freaking out like half the internet, are you, and binge-watching post-apocalyptic movies? <laughs> no. No, of course not. The end times aren't even close to over yet. We're decidedly mid-apocalypse. What were you planning on watching? Melancholia or Dr. Strangelove, maybe? Ugh. Boring. What were you gonna see? A film classic. Uh-oh. Which is in fact about the end of the world. And I know for a fact you haven't seen it. It's even got social commentary. Maybe I should social distance myself back home. Ah, come on. We've got masks. We both live alone. I haven't even seen Melissa in three weeks. So the odds are ever in our favor. Tell me you didn't just quote the Hunger Games. What did I just say about mid-apocalypse? Jason, you know you've missed this. All right, all right. All right. I'll start it up. You know, the way the theater chains are talking, like they might need to close every one of their locations if this pandemic goes on too long, this might be the last movie I ever see on the big screen, so don't make me regret this. You won't. I promise. Wait, what are you doing? You can't sit two seats away from me during a pandemic. People will think we're dating. Give him a hand. Let's go check out the house. There's something in there. I heard a noise. All right, man. Hit him in the head, right between the eyes. Good shot. Okay, he's dead. Let's go get him. That's another one for the fire. So, on a scale of one to ten, what do you think? 
One being I told you so, and ten being that was a goddamn masterpiece and I told you so. Man, I remember the first time I saw Night of the Living Dead. I was four years old. Still soaking it in? Processing? It's okay. Take your time. It's like watching my kid ride a bike for the first time. Oh, I'm going to take a picture. Don't move. So proud.